hi guys welcome back to odori's healthy tasty meals how are you guys doing today thank you so much for always coming back to support me so today i brought you full package of how to make a peanut butter from scratch yes so what you need to do is um, bring your water to a boil then add your peanuts so i usually add my peanuts sometimes i add the salt immediately inside the water or i kind of um, add the salt later i still have another video of um, how to roast your peanuts so i use a different method maybe you want to check that out if you add your salt at this stage fine if you still want to add your salt maybe after draining the water and just sprinkle the salt on it to let it dry alongside the water is still okay so after adding the salt just let it rest for like uh, two minutes or three minutes give it a stir you can always adjust the salt sometimes you can even test the water if it is not salty know that the salt is not enough so you can add more so after that you kind of want to drain the water so I drain the water in a sieve. So after draining the water, you want to spread it on a plain surface. So it's at this stage that I say you can still add maybe sprinkle salt on it, but depends on what you want. Add salt while it's still in water or add salt while you are spreading it. So once you spread it on a plain surface, I'm actually making a bit much. So I use the like two, yeah, sack, <laughs> yeah, to spread it. Make sure that the skin is properly dried up like this. You can spread this outdoor if you have a maybe dry climate the weather is dry for you you spread it outdoor or you spread it indoor what matters is you let it dry so once it's dry i'm using this um this is gary i actually used it in my other the other day i made roasting peanut so i'm still using it this time around so you add your peanut inside it remember your heat should be on by now so you give it stir okay you stir it like this don't make the peanuts too like a uh, very much heavier than the uh gary you are using you may use gary you may use sand you may use um uh cornflakes like uh yeah corn the waxy <laughs> powder not that it's a totally powdered form but you know something that could just absorb heat and transfer it to the granite you don't want to roast your granite directly without these things because your granite is going to get burnt and another thing is that when you are roasting don't make the heat too high just leave it in a medium heat so that it can gradually roast the granite so after roasting it and you kind of taste and see that uh it has properly roast to your desired uh, stage I usually kind of take them take it out like this and spread it on a plain surface so that I can take out the granite you can as well pour it in your sieve it should be iron sieve because if you pour it on a plastic sieve it's going to melt it so it should be iron sieve so that you kind of toss it around and the gary will separate but i don't have an iron sieve and i don't want to burn my plastic sieve i usually use my hand to you know get it out like this and once i'm totally done with it it looks this way you see it's fully separated and you also want to transfer it in an airtight container because you don't want it to absorb too much air and get to dry and hard yes if you expose it too much it's going to get too hard and the crispiness will be lost 
although you're blending it it doesn't matter but i still have i still want to kind of preserve few to chew and then few for peanut butter so you're going to see how we turn the quantity we want to turn into peanut butter you know <laughs> and here is it i kind of peel it out like this when i'm ready for the peanut butter i bring it out and uh, you know peel the skin you need to take out the skin before making it into a peanut butter so i'm just showing you with one of my hand you can use your two palms to rub the granules together and the skins will be separated just so i'm holding one of the I'm using one of my hand to hold the camera. I'm using one of the hand to demonstrate to you how to take out the skin with this uh, small sample I brought out here. But I have already a kind of peeled like some large quantity that I want to blend. This one is just a demonstration. And here is it. I have peeled this much. The skin and the knots are still mixed together. Another thing is, as you peel, you may kind of want to separate it at once or you peel everything together and later separate the skin from the knots. Mm -hmm. So here is it. I'm going to separate it. So what I did, um, you can do this separation maybe outdoor, but if you don't want your environment to get messy, you can do it inside your sink. Just as I place it here, toast the granite up and with a little air, the skin gets separated. And this water dripping, just drops of water help to trap the skins inside the sink. Remember, you're not flushing it. See, I covered the, uh, is it nozzles? So that it doesn't escape and block my sink. After you're done, just quickly... Give it a clean like this and your environment will still be neat and clean. So here is it. We are done separating the skin and our granite is looking so beautifully cleaned. And it's still very crispy, and it tasted so good because the salts were just okay for it. So at this time, we want to grind this granite to turn it into butter. Uh, sometimes you might take it to a meal, but I don't usually like taking this to a meal because after this grinding, I'm not going to kind of cook it before eating it. It will just be something to consume directly. So I don't mm, trust very much how clean their meaning machine is. So I usually use my grinder or blender to blend it or grind it into butter, just as I'm going to do now. So I kind of separated it into, I think I did it like three times, depending on the quantity I was making, because a little bit much. So you grind and grind. At first, it will turn to like powdered form it's not still enough that way you see it it's not in a it's not yet paste and it's not yet uh, creamy so you're going to give it another blend so i'm grinding it again you see the oil now forming is now in a bit uh, paste form so you're still going to grind it again and again you know until it forms until it becomes so creamy So here is it grinding and it's done. So I just repeated the process like three times and I was done grinding the 
peanuts butter yeah sometimes you can still use your spoon you know if it's too hard for your blender to carry use your spoon break them return it and you grind again So this is the last batch. Hope you can see the motion inside the blender. So you just grind it, you see it, it will just turn so creamy for you. If you are kind of not still satisfied with the creamy te texture, you kind of grind it again till it gets to your desired texture. Mm, and I have a helping hand in the kitchen. <laughs> Look at that taking a part. Uh -huh. Oh, see someone wants to hurt herself with the blade. <laughs> Whenever you're making a peanut butter, you know, kids love it. They love it a lot. I usually get a lot of helping hand whenever I'm making peanut butter. And here is the end result, guys. I'm done because as soon as I blend, I transfer it into this container until the last part and I got this much. So here is it looking so creamy and smooth. So the joy of this is that you're able to make this by yourself from your house in a clean environment and you trust the utensils you use and you know you are sure it's very very hygienic so i hope you like this video let me know in the comment section if you have maybe further question or need uh, further clarification just let me know and i'll be a kind of happy to give you more details so don't forget to share this video with your friends or family members that you feel might like it. Feel free and share it with them and I will be expecting their questions. So thank you so much for watching. If you've watched to this stage, please subscribe and I would like to see you in my next video.